What's up guys, the Lost One Gaming here, and welcome to another early access game on my channel. This time we're playing Airport CEO, where of course, you get to run your own airport. Surprise, surprise. So, I'm sorry if the audio settings are a little bit messed up. I can't really change the in-game sound because it's that far, it's that early in access right now that you can't just change it right now. So, let's get this started though. Um, hmm, hairstyle. Oh, I'm, I'm a lady now. That, I didn't please. intend on being a lady. Please do not smoke in the terminal building. Don't worry, I wasn't trying smoking to smoke in the terminal. In the specified smoking you areas. don't have to scream Thank at me. <laughs> Let's see, I want to do dark hair. Because I have dark hair. Um, I think that's good. Blue eyes, even though I don't have blue eyes. So, <laughs> that's unrealistic. And again, my skin color isn't that either so you know it's not really supposed to be me anyway <laughs> but uh let's do i want my name to be michael i'm sorry if this if you can hear like the typing in the background normally i would it probably wouldn't sound that loud but i have to use a secondary keyboard with this because i run this on a laptop and so some of the like menu options use the the f keys you know f1 f2 and on my laptop they do different things so they don't work that way so i'm having to plug up a usb keyboard but anyway that's not important continue now i remember when i first <laughs> tried to play this because i tried to play it a little bit earlier today um and i didn't realize that you could zoom into this so i was like oh united states oh there's only one place you could start an airport in the united states washington dc until i realized oh wait you can zoom in um <laughs> it, there's plenty of places because i was like that would be unrealistic if that was the only option but since I'm from Florida, I'm going to do Jacksonville. I would do Tallahassee, but, you know, no one likes Tallahassee. Just kidding. Just kidding. Um, Jacksonville. Your airport? Yeah, my airport's going to be in Jacksonville. So, confirm location. Yes. We're going to call this the Lost Airport. This is where planes come. This is going to be the new Bermuda. Yeah, I can't talk again. The new Bermuda Triangle. Airports, uh, airplanes come here and they get lost. They never get back. It's probably not a good idea for an airport, but you know, you never know. Maybe people want to get lost. Maybe they just, this is where people go when they want to fake their own deaths, pretty much. <laughs> they don't want to be found and they just fake their own deaths. This is where they come to. This is that airport. Now, let's see. Um, I've been trying to give myself a little bit of a challenge in these games lately. Um... I think I've been doing a decent job thus far, so I want to do this in sandbox, and I'm going to go extreme management mode. Don't even bother. This is the worst job you ever have. Thanks for the enthusiasm. I love it. You'll start with a horrible $250,000 in cash. To be honest, that really is horrible. I'm pretty sure in real life, $250,000, you wouldn't be able to start an airport. I'm pretty sure you'd pay more than 250000 just for the land to start the airport, let alone trying to actually build structures. Dear Michael, thank you for our last meeting, and I hope you like your new digs. My new digs? I know it isn't much, but hopefully you'll do better than the last person who tried to build our town's proud airport. I'm assuming it didn't go too well, so um, that's a hard bringer to probably what's going to happen here. Um... You've got a lot of work ahead of you, so you better get to it. I can't give you any tips because I really don't know how to run an airport. But let me remind you that you have a budget to keep, too, and we count on you to get this place making a profit. Good luck, and we'll talk soon. I hope, or, well, my people will send you a message. Okay? That's the mayor of the town, or city, Gregor Fonsworth. So, okay, this is why I needed my keyboard. <laughs> this is why I needed my keyboard, just to get rid of this and this only and to bring things up again actually maybe i didn't need that i could just closed out of it like that all right the airport is currently closed we have two hundred fifty thousand dollars to work with which is not a lot of course as the mayor himself said um this is not a lot let me see how old my guy is because it changes um from time to time let's see ceo michael truscott i'm 18 what where did i get this money to start this airport at 18 years old. Seriously. I'm young, I'm fresh, and I'm I'm an idiot for doing this. But <laughs> you know what? Whatever. So, let's see. Right now, infrastructure. Hold on, let's see. What can I do? I 
I'm trying to be somewhat prepared for expansion, but at the same time, maybe not as much. I want to do... We'll do a bus stop for now because of the fact that I don't... Oh, wait. I'm rotating the wrong freaking thing. This is how you rotate. There you go. R. Um, yeah, that's a bus stop. Okay. So, hold on. Now I got to reroute. There we go. Um, I don't really have enough room or enough money to really do all that parking and stuff, so I'm just going to leave it at a bus stop. Everybody's going to be here by bus uh, for the start. Because this place is going to be so small that it's not even going to matter anyway. Um, so, let's see. Structures. Foundation. Terminal foundation. Because we're literally only going to have enough money for one freaking terminal, and that's it. I think this is the truck bringing me my supplies for everything that I've going to build thus far. <laughs> Hey, just throw my stuff out there. Yeah, okay. One box of stuff. Great. <laughs> One single box and any leaves. All right. Um, let's see. I don't want this to be too huge. Because if it is, then I won't have money for other things. So, hmm. Let's say, hmm, four by three. 4x3 isn't big. <laughs> that, hmm. I think that'll work. It's it's not going to work. I'm going to have to expand this at some point. But for right now, it, it's fine. It'll do. Um. Now, what else do I need? I need a lot of stuff. Structures. No, no, no. Items. That's what I need. Okay, items. You get an info desk here. This, this layout is going to be so messed up. I'm sorry. It's not going to... It's not going to be the way it's going to be eventually. Well, let's see. That's the information desk there. Um, I got to set up a... I believe if I'm not mistaken, I have to set up a secondary area up here for... Let's see. If I can get this to work right. Sometimes it's... Hmm. Let's see. There we go. I have to set up a secondary secure area for my security station so that that can all be in there together. So let's see. Um, <laughs> my one terminal. Anyway, let's see. Okay, I got to set up the secure area. This secure, secure area zone right here. Okay, this is the beginning of it. And then I guess I could delete these outer walls, possibly. I don't really need them, I don't think. It, it kind of closes things in too much and I don't want to have to put a door there. I love how I'm like trying to design this and put all this time and effort into it and it won't really matter in the end. <laughs> it won't really matter. So let's do the boarding desk check-in desk. I think I wanted to put the this must be placed in non-secure. So these two can go in the same spot. That's probably what I'll do. Probably throw this over in a corner. <laughs> uh, I guess they can all just check in right there. I think that will work. I'm not sure. I hope that's enough space for everybody. Probably won't be. But like I said, right now, we're not too concerned. This is a one a one terminal airport. We don't really need all that extra stuff. So small security checkpoint or security checkpoint. We're cheap. Like I said, we can't really afford all these other things. So um, hold on. Let me bulldoze this first. Let me see. Structures. Wall. I think it said if I click control... Yes, I can delete these walls. Okay, wait, wait. I want to delete this one. Wait, that that part right there. Just delete that. Okay. I think I got the inner workings somewhat figured out. Uh, security checkpoint. Here we go. This is what I wanted to do right here. I can't. Can I fit another one there? I don't think I can. I have to tear down the wall again. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yep. Let me go back over here and tear down this. This one little wall piece here, and that's it, there. <laughs> now I have two security stations, even though I probably don't even need, probably just need one, to be honest. But let's see, uh, back over to items, and security checkpoint. I think this is right, did I, did I set this up right, or am I doing this wrong? Okay, that's set up. Okay, now I need the, I need the boarding desk. So the boarding desk is going to be here right literally right behind the security station that's how airports work right i'm not 100 percent sure i haven't been to an airport in a long time because i don't like flying i'm not a fan so <laughs> i'm not a fan i think i'm gonna add like a little bit of a uh 
we have to have a security exit so i need like a little another small piece just to be on the outside of this it doesn't have to be too big although i'm making it that big um so let's do let's do that and then i'll tear down this wall here or should i yeah i'll tear down the wall uh do 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 do, do there that should be enough right and then security exit how much was that thing again two thousand dollars at least no one has to man it so that's good must be connected to open zone i have to flip this around right yeah okay that's how that works um i guess this is just like a little sitting area i don't know i don't know what this is gonna be it's kind of serves no purpose right now <laughs> let's go back over into structures i need to put a door there okay that's the door and now i think that's kind of every well won't say everything that's like the main stuff. I think I might put some seats out here. Oh, they're throwing my boxes of cargo and stuff just out there again. Thanks. I, I know you guys care so much about your jobs. Thank you so much. <laughs> Although I guess they say you don't really pay me anyway, so why should I care? Um, what was I doing again? <laughs> I was going to put seats there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what that was. That's items. That's items. Uh, gate seating. Which way is this facing, by the way? I'm just going to put it right there. I think this should be good, and then we'll put like a trash can on the side, or just over here in the corner. And then I, I need to put a door up front. I feel like I'm playing Sims right now with the way I'm designing things now. <laughs> this looks a lot better than the first one that I did, so I'm, I'm kind of happy with it, actually. Um, let's see, infrastructure, no, structures. It would be a large door, probably need a large door for the front entrance. And I need to build a sidewalk as well. Because I need to have something to connect the bus stop to the actual freaking place here. That's a road. That's not a sidewalk. That's a sidewalk. There we go. Okay, put that there. Bring that all the way around. This is ugly as heck, but I don't care. Why is that not... Okay, never mind. Let's do that. This episode is probably just going to be me designing the airport. I probably won't actually get it opened in the first episode. It's possible, but at the same time, maybe not. <laughs> so let's see. I need to now, let's see, structure, now struct, would it be structure or infrastructure? It is infrastructure, I assume, because I need a taxiway foundation, no, I need a stand, small stand, okay, let me see if I can figure this out right this time, because I've done this before and I did it wrong, so I think that this is the way that it has to go, or wait, no, hold on, no, it's this way. It's this way. Okay, let me make sure. Yeah, it's that way. <laughs> I did this one time before, and I did it absolutely freaking wrong. So, I try not to do that this time around. So, let's see. Uh, I, now I need the actual runway itself. So, there's our small little runway, which costs $100,000. Great. That's amazing. Okay. Good job. Now, I need, a, I need someone to build this. So... We got two contracts for building. Um, one contract from HWY. HWY, $9.30 per hour per contractor. They can send a maximum of 59 contractors. What do you got, Brightly? $5.80 and 98. <laughs> I'll take that deal. I'm signing my name. Yep, 18 year old doesn't know the definition of quality or anything for that matter. <laughs> so, yeah, he's. Okay, so now we got our contracts there. I need to get people to build things. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, I forgot how to... Oh, no, it's down here. Construction, there we go. Um, Let's just do... Hold on, let me... I'm going to do... Actually, just deploy all of them. I'll pay them. I'll pay them all. Whatever they want, I'll pay them all. I'm getting them up on the phone right now. $5.79. That's a steal. I might as well bring all of them out here. Oh, I forgot. I need an air traffic control place, too. I should probably get one of those. <laughs> should probably get one of those. I also don't have baggage claim, but I can't really afford that. So, you know. <laughs> People just won't be able to bring bags. You know, I know that's what you fly for. You know, you have your bags. But at least you don't have to pay the cost of, the, you know, baggage fees and baggage claim. Because we don't have baggage. So, you know, save some money there. You, you won't have clothes wherever you go, but it's... <laughs> Is it worth the trade-off? <laughs> Is it really? Um, now, I wanted to... 
I was supposed to be doing the air traffic control place. So that's going to be back here. Don't really think it matters where this goes, to be honest. And I'm going to build a fuel depot as well. So that, that way I can refuel pl uh, the planes. Probably don't need that right now necessarily, but we'll see. And there's the people taking their boxes and working on starting up this airport. Thank God, because I'm going to need to make some money soon, because if I don't, I'm going to be broke. <laughs> I'm going to be broke. We also don't have bathrooms, I just realized that. So, I could build like a little section over here for bathrooms. I'll see how much money I have, and then I'll make a decision then. <laughs> if I don't have enough money, then I won't build one. But if I do, then I'll just build like a little small section over there for bathrooms. <laughs> and at least people can go to the bathroom. They may not have food, they may not have bags, but at least you can relieve your bladder. I think that's worth more so than anything in the world. $61,000 is what we have left now. And of course, we're going to be losing even more of that because we have to keep paying these workers for as long as they're here. So I kind of need you guys to get all this stuff done as quickly as possible. <laughs> as quickly as possible. Now, I think I have to set up a... Uh, I probably shouldn't have built this this close to the runway, to be honest. <laughs> probably shouldn't have done that. But I think, hold on, let's see. Taxiway Foundation. I think this might actually work. I don't know if that plane can actually fit down that runway, but I hope it can. Because <laughs> that might not work now. <laughs> let's see. I'm going to put it this way. I really don't. That's $4,000 for that. Okay, and then I'm going to put one down this way coming on the other end. I really don't think this is going to be big enough, to be honest. I might have to move this. Then again, I don't really know if I have a choice of moving it at this point. You know, the planes, they can just run all, run in the runway at the same time. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I'm also going to have to set up a stop point. I forgot how to do... Well, I have to wait for them to construct it first, I think. Can you guys get to work on that? Yeah, there you go. Okay, so... Closed baggage bay... Open stand. Security connection does not accept commercial flights. Oh, it will soon. General aviation and commercial flights. Need an att Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. The, uh, the boarding desk. Hold on. Where is that? Connect over here. There you go. Okay, so now... I feel like I messed something up. <laughs> I feel like I messed something up. Okay, commercial. Stand is deactivated. Cannot transfer. Deactivated. Cannot transfer passengers. I think I messed this up again. I think I did it backwards. Ah, I freaking hate when I do this. Yeah, I did it backwards, didn't I? Because it should be able to... Hold on. Stands deactivated and cannot transfer passengers. Why not? The security station... Wait. Okay, the security stations are there. They're activated. It's not operated. So wait, if it's operated, if I hire people, would that make it work? Would that make it work, or would that make it not work? Let me see if they can get this whole thing done over here. Uh, let's hire some employees, though, real quick. Um, let's see, applicants. Security, we need, like, two people to run security. Um, I'm going to try and find the cheapest people that I can get, of course, obviously. Um, I need one... How many people do I need to run the baggage? Uh, the Okay, I need... Hold on. I need one person to run that, and I need... I can't click this one, so I don't know what's going on there. I think I need like one or two people to run that. Check in, there's check in, and then there's the gate. I have like, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just do four uh, actual staff, airport staff, and we'll go from there. So I hire Suze, Suzanne Olson, because she only wants $5.80 an hour, so we'll hire her. Uh, anybody else wanna come in for cheap? $7? Yep, that's fine. That works. Anastasia. Um, let's see, who else could we get? Seven and a half. And I hire one guy. <laughs> one guy just to kind of even everything out. Boris Petrovic. That guy is creepy looking. But anyway, he's hired. Um, I need two security guys. Probably actually don't, but I'm going to hire two security guys. Um, $11. Who's the cheapest? $11. $11. Um. I think eleven dollars is cheapest that we can get in terms of security, so I'm just gonna have to go with that. I'll hire Sam and Paul. Have fun working at this airport. 
I doubt you will, but uh, we'll see. Now, I really want to see if I can get this stand is deactivated. This stand is deactivated and cannot transfer passengers. I don't. I'm hoping that this will be this will be fixed when the people get here. But I'm not 100% sure. Like when my employees get here, I'm hoping that they will man the stations, the security stations, and then they'll go from there. Shut. Okay, the security station is now manned. That did not help. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's. If I open it, requires tech. Oh yeah, I forgot about that part. Taxiway connection. So I'm probably gonna have to reroute this. <laughs> probably have to redo this because I'm pretty sure I did it the wrong way. So, open runway. Yeah, I think I definitely did this the wrong way. I keep thinking that this is the right way, but maybe, maybe it's just because I don't have the taxi route set up. I don't freaking know. But I'm going to end it here for now, and I'll see you guys when I actually figure this out. So I'll see you guys in the next one.